Cop FM, welcome to France. I'm Ellie Menjum and Euro 2016 starts here. If France won, uh -huh. what would we see around here? French flag. <laughs> you guys can bring an atmosphere. Yeah, big time. What is the fish? It is a fish. Well, Greg's on fire. Na 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 na. Two years ago in Brazil, Copa 90 brought you the real story of the World Cup. From the stands to the streets and the bars to the fan parks. Go! And now we've teamed up with ITV to bring you a never before seen, truly fan first global perspective of the tournament in the Fans Daily. We've got fans on every single corner of Europe who are going to show you just what effect the tournament is having in every single competing nation. Whilst I'll be here in France bringing you all the colour and atmosphere as football takes over the country. So before France vs Romania kicks off the tournament, let's get to meet the fans who will be covering Group A, B and C. <laughs> Nabil. Ambil. Andre. James. Robert. Emma. Joe. Domash. Good My name's Johannes. Svetaslav. Chris. Mateusz. Oh, it's only a matter of hours now until the tournament kicks off. And if my experience in Brazil for the World Cup is anything to go by, as kickoff approaches, the atmosphere will just build and build. So let's hit the streets of Paris, speak to the locals and see how they're feeling ahead of the biggest tournament here in decades. Why does France love Le Bleu so much? It's a team of uh, nation, of nation of uh, France. Everybody live here is uh, for Le Bleu. Everybody loves football. Describe to me how you're feeling. I can describe it. It's crazy. I show people that I'm from France from France and that I want France um, to win. Why is France so happy to have the Euros? Because we are the winner. <laughs> yes, we will win. You think you're going to win? Yes. Against Romania? Three? Three goals. They're going to score twice. I don't know what will be the final score, but they're definitely going to score twice. What will it be like for the month of the Euro? It will be an amazing party. In uh, all the city, you will have uh, people with a uh, jersey. Everybody uh, screaming, everybody uh, happy. Yeah, like tonight. Yes. It's gonna be awesome. So tonight the party starts. Yes. yes. And oh, one month. Months. And when does the party end? Never. Well, last time France hosted an international football tournament, all the way back in 1998, they went on to win it, causing wild scenes across the country. And the expectation is they're going to do it all over again for the Euros. However, there are still 12 teams in three other groups whose fans we haven't met yet. So let's get to know them. Ozan. Hello. Veronica. Robin. <laughs> Alessandro. Tim. Lewis. Eric. Dave. Lucas. Kristen. Donnie. Well, that's it for the first episode of the Fans Daily, but this is just the beginning because we are covering every single match day of Euro 2016. Talking about what matters, but most importantly, bringing you all the incredible atmospheres that are being created from this tournament. From here in Paris, to all around France, to all around the continent. Wherever you're watching the game tonight, make sure you enjoy it. But more importantly, like the video and subscribe to Copper 90 because this is the only place where you're going to get the real story of Euro 2016. And if you miss anything in the match, head to ITV's hub where you can catch all the key moments and goals on the Petit Highlight Show every morning on demand.